Can I land on the horse? Hmm. After viewing a view after completing a viewpoint, you can leap of faith to get down. Yeah, but how do I begin? How do I do the leap? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't care. Yeah, that's the map, so what? Isn't it just supposed to be A? Oh, there we go. I had to hold in the, uh, the sprint key. Oh, is that actually just another... Yeah, that's just another waypoint. Here we go. Refill your stock by returning. You know, I gotta say, that city is actually quite impressive. I'm just surprised why did we wait we didn't get a panning shot earlier. Save citizens. You've no reason to be out here, old man. You're hurting me. Come on. You're a dead man. Get you. Wait. That's him dead. What, grab him? Throw him? There we go. Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. That, that lip syncing was bad. Alright. Amenu. Santa Maria. Pizzeria. <laughs> he just starts spouting a bunch of like, like words that sound like uh, religious, but aren't even remotely. Like, Santa Maria. Valentina. Excuse us, guardsmen, we're coming through. We're holy men. I mean, they are, I'm not, I mean, wait, what? Um. I actually thought he was going to pull him along. He's like, uh, I want to disconnect from this group now. Conk! I'm sorry, my brethren. I will have to leave you now. No, I didn't want to join the blend again. Wait, what? I started blending! Why did you run in front of the sword, you piece of shit? There we go, that's you dead. Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked. It's best to not lock up. Oh, oh, initiate. Okay, so that's what you meant about that. It initiates it. 
Oh yeah, sure. Almost forgot. Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. All right. Sweet. Even more people to blend into. You, sir, you look like you need something. You'll find it here. Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. All right. I'm just a religious man who, uh, totally... Okay, okay. I am doing nothing. Those days between Damascus and Jerusalem. All right. More climbing. Have been poor. Come on. It seems there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had. Fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. Honestly, thus far the game is not too bad. Come close. Hear the tale I have to tell. Of a merchant prince. Oh, finally a peak spot. Oh, God damn it, Altair! Let me have at least this spot! The were low no. On food and the I and the eagle. No one else. No I don't know what it is. Just just these eagle eagles flying all over all over the place, trying to find a place to sit and relax. And suddenly, uh, suddenly you see this guy just climbing up. It's like, give me my fucking seat! Come close, hear the tale I have to tell of a merchant prince without peer. Amen. It was just before Hatim. The Saracens were low on food and in desperate need of resupply. But there was no relief in sight. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. Wait, won what battle? Is he saying that they won the battle at the castle? Is that clearly not true? Fucking ow! Ow! Fucking ow! You seem to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it Sir? does not help you. Um... No, stop, listen! <laughs> not Salah ad -Din. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I have told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. Yep. <laughs> Okay, Tamir is preoccupied with overseeing the production of the weapons. So, so that means that he's not going to be noticing our, um, our work. All right, Assassin's Bureau. Played it. Where is it? Ah, uh, oh, there we go. That's the hole. They have running water and everything. 
Altair. It is good to see you. And in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. Why is he twitching like that? Brings you to the mass. A man named Tamir. Al Muallim takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. All right. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. I mean, we might as well get to it right now. You done? Oh. So much for making that joke work. Tamir is with the souk, preoccupied. Preoccupied with preparing a large ship and the weapons. <clears throat> Please, can't you spare some? No. I'm poor and sick and hungry. I don't care. It's not my problem. the order which means i have failed my clients we need more time this is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man which are you neither what i see says otherwise now tell me what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours these weapons are needed now i see no solution the men work day and night but your client requires so much and the destination it is a difficult route Word that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses. I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No, stop. That's a really sharp knife to be able to cut through cloth that easily. Stood before my men and dared to insult me. You must learn your place. Well then No Leave the I think he did Let this be a lesson to the rest of you Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done Now get back to work Wait, why am I suddenly suspicious? I've, I've literally been in the crowd the entire time. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Oh, oh that's him. You learn your craft? Is he a swords maker? I guess he's the one who made the knife. I can sell this. I beg of Melt you. it down and try I again. Beg of you just and if it comes boys, out just please. as poorly as be you, Have gets me melted money. down next. My family is sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? Food. Where is he going? Just a little money, I beg of you. A few coins. All I yeah, please get out of my way. 
God damn it. This position. Swore none could do as well as you. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, I'm not doing anything. I don't understand what you do all day. Your stall is filled with goods. It should be your purse that's filled with coin. Oh, no Wait, what? What happened? What happened? Okay, so... He randomly found out about me. Okay, that was random as hell. Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Oh, so that's what the feather was for. I thought I thought it was a calling card. Also, let's uh, get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck's sakes. Ow! Fucking... Hello! What? You won't get away from me! God damn it. Why am I jumping through the damn thing? Get up, get up, get up, get up. No, I'm not. They don't see. There we go. And like that, they have forgotten that I ever did anything. There we go. Assassin's Bureau. Alright, they shouldn't be able to reach us now. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Molin. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memories to a more recent one. All right. So I'm guessing that's like a couple of days after to kind of let the situation ease off. All right. Before we return to uh, Al Moim, or oh, okay, so we're back at the Animus then. All right. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. We just we just get to look into their inboxes like that while she's sitting right there. Okay. Um, from, uh, from Warren to Layla. You said wind up like Layla earlier. What did you mean? Nothing. Get back to work, please. Why is it that she has a better, that she actually capitalizes and spells shit properly?
So she not only spells correctly, but she also signs her, her emails. I guess he's never found out about the shift key. Alright, the pen. Warren. Ah. Wait, what's the current date in the game? So this was a mail sent to her to him yesterday. Access key. Huh. Huh. Nothing yet. Maybe we can talk to her. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Clearly. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists. At least I think you're scientists. And forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. No, you're just... Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... No. You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I didn't even think about it. I thought it was just a mind automatically translating the memory. But apparently it's the machine literally translating the, the language into a comprehensive version of English. Kind of nice forethought there, actually, now that I think about it. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? Or what goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. She's not going to answer that. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. <laughs> I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Telecommunications. Yeah, but that's just an in that's just an inbox. There there's nothing here for me to utilize at all. Do I have a computer in the room? Maybe? Because I gotta say, there's a lot of server pieces here for a single machine. Like, that wall is de decorated with a bunch of servers, that is. Wait. Is it trying to get me to interact with the bed? No. I'm not- I'm not- Man, I can't even change my clothes. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Can we at least wash ourselves? No. Can we take number two? No. Well, that's creepy. Can we listen in? No. That, that, that one email about the pen, that... Wait, no, did they actually lock the door? Oh, crap. 
fuck. Oh well. Back to sleep we go. Okay, so we we gotta we gotta be on the lookout for that pen that they were talking about, the access key pen. Because apparently he seems to be very neglectful about it. About it. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. So if we're if we're able to just use our pickpocketing skills, we might be able to get it. Doink. Well, it's clearly not on his desk at the moment. Um. Where's what? Lucy? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect How? me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Is he gonna stand up? Or not? I, I guess he, he's not even infested. On to the table of eagle.